Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabel. I'm an author, speaker, blogger, and I love to share spiritual teachings and wellness teachings with a touch of color. Today, a video about anxiety. I'm talking about anxiety because I suffered from anxiety most of my life. I came from an anxious household and I gave a talk. I had the chance and opportunity to give a talk to a group of students this week about anxiety and I wanted to share some of the things that I shared with them with you. These are tips to help you overcome anxiety. There are ways to tame it and these are really, really, really powerful. They have worked in my life and I wanted to share with them with you today. So the first one is to speak to yourself. To say to yourself, I can do hard things, including getting over this anxiety. So if you say this to yourself, I can do hard things. I repeat this to myself many times a day, whether it's dealing with a computer problem, a glitch, something dealing with applications, my camera, whatever. Whatever issue comes up, the first thing I say to myself is, Isabel, you can do hard things. This helps reduce the anxiety rather, rather than spiral into negativity. Oh my God, you know, this is a crisis. No, it's not a crisis. It's just a computer glitch. I will figure it out. So when you speak to yourself in this powerful way, it helps to maintain your, your sense of calm and reduce the anxiety that may bubble up. I found this trick while reading Glennon Doyle's book, Untamed, a great book, and this is something that she says, you can do hard things. So repeat that many times a day as you need and you'll see your levels of anxiety will reduce. The other thing you can do is to transfer your anxiety into excitement. There were some research, research has been done by some professors at Harvard University who, who found that there is only a, a few degrees between feeling anxious and excited. So if you can reframe your anxiety as, oh, I'm excited about my interview. I have an interview for a job. I'm really looking forward to see how it goes. It's exciting. And that way you're reframing your anxiety and not seeing it through the lens of your limiting beliefs. Normally what we do is we spiral in, oh, what if they don't like me? What if it doesn't work out? I'm so worried, I might be rejected. Those are our limiting beliefs, our limiting thoughts about ourselves. So reframe it with, wow, I'm so excited. I have an opportunity to meet new people, to see a different opportunity. Let's see if things work out and I hope for the best. So by reframing your anxiety into excitement, this helps you to calm down and and relax. Oh, I had a date with someone new. This is exciting. Not, are they going to reject me? Are they going to hate me? What are they going to think about my hair? You don't go there. You stay in the feeling of excitement. Oh, I have a um, public speaking gig. I'm so excited to meet new people, to do something fun, as opposed to being worried and feeling extremely anxious. The other thing you can do is shake things out. This is something I do in my retreats, in all my conferences, and it comes from some research done by a psychologist, Emma McAdam, who found that by shaking off your anxiety, you release the tension in your body. It helps to regulate your nervous system. So just blast your favorite tune, blast your favorite tune in the kitchen, in your bedroom, wherever, and start shaking your wrists very, very fast and you will see to the sound of the music it helps to release anxiety it's extremely powerful and I have used this countless times and it really really works the other thing you can do is meditate and breathe consciously there's the five 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 meditation where you inhale for five you hold it for five and you exhale for five this allows you to relax and again to regulate your nervous system it works it's very powerful Powerful meditation and yoga. Meditation and yoga sh changed my life for the better. I was an extremely anxious person and yoga, even if it's just 10 minutes, a few downward dogs in the morning, a few stretches really help to reduce the tension. So rather than jumping on the internet when you f first get up in the morning or drinking guzzling coffee, 
do a few stretches, meditate, calm your mind. You can also journal. That's another trick to reduce anxiety. Journal your thoughts, journal your emotions, and this will help you start your day off on the right foot. Speaking of coffee, um, I have given up coffee completely. I was a coffee junkie. I used to drink five, six coffees a day while I, back when I was a lawyer, it was, did terrible things to my body. So I have cut out caffeine completely. I drink herbal teas and mostly water with lemon, to be honest. Lemon water is terrific for your body. It's great for your organs. It flushes out toxins. So start the day with a tall glass of water, squeeze in some lemon lemon juice or a smoothie. You can do a smoothie, a celery juice or whatever, but try something healthy and replace. If you are extremely anxious, reduce your caffeine intake. It's extremely important. Um, the same goes with sugar. Sugar, alcohol and cigarettes are not good for anxiety. So if you can reduce that, you'll feel so 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 much better working out is another way to reduce anxiety sports getting the adrenaline going whether it's going for a quick run whatever it is you can go for a hike go for a walk just get out there in nature and connect with nature go hug a tree tree hugging you know it may sound ridiculous but hugging a tree will reduce your level of anxiety significantly so go for a hike go in the woods spend time in the forest forest bathing let yourself be transported in this beautiful fairy land that is the forest and it will calm your mind it will calm your spirit for for sure taking care of how you eat nutrition is also a big thing there's caffeine but then there's also the rest of it so try to eat more vegetables ground yourself if you're extremely anxious try to reduce sweets and eat um, potatoes, sweet potatoes, vegetables, root vegetables. This will help ground you and get you out of the anxious mode. The other thing you can do is talk about it. If you're very anxious, go seek out help. You can seek out help through a counselor, a therapist, a good friend. Talking about how, why we feel anxious can really just reduce it significantly and can be very, very helpful. And the final tip, which is my top tip, is to dance. I'm a dance teacher and I lead retreats where we dance for hours. Dancing, it's proven that dances raises your vibration makes you feel so good and reduces tension so just crank the tunes dance in your car dance in your kitchen while you're making your morning breakfast dance 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 three times a day dance at lunch if you have to put on your earphones go into the washroom just shake it off dance it off and you'll see your levels of anxiety reduce significantly and your mood it's such a big mood booster will increase tremendously oh and i forgot sleep sleep get your seven to eight hours a day of sleep super important cut off your internet connection around 10 to 10 30 stop looking what other people are doing online stop comparing yourself online to other people on social media that is really toxic cut that out shut down your internet at 10 o'clock at night put your phone in your garage in your handbag in your cupboards lock them if you need to sleeping with your phone is not good because you have electromagnetic electric electromagnetic fields um, bombarding your brain and it's not good at all so really shut down your phone get some sleep drink lots of water exercise and dance all of these things will reduce your anxiety shake it off and remember to smile watch funny videos if you have to and this will help you tremendously that's how I am able to maintain my level of calm and reduce my anxiety in my life so I hope this video has been helpful thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel and until next time for another video bye for now